Hello and welcome to episode 13 of our Laurentius campaign. In the last episode, we were in a war against Pearl's Edge here. We're just trying to take our claims here in the uh, Dame's Head? The West Dame's Head. The West Dame's Head region. So we need all of this, including from Necklift, though I believe we have a truce with them at the moment. That'll be a way longer way to do that. Uh, yes, until four, four more years. Uh, that's not too bad. So we'll see what happens with them. They might be at war. I think someone's trying to take Moon Isle. I can't remember exactly. Uh, this war is not really a big deal. We just have to go and siege their allies down, and then we will be good to go. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue. Now, I don't know why I had 100,000 troops stacked here. That really seems like a bad, bad plan. Oh, it seems like a better plan is bringing these two together. Now, something that I thought about for uh, Viacock here, they're still semi-monstrous. Um, I think eventually I want to ally them, though. Just because I can't get a claim on them right now, but what I can do is... Uh, well, if I ally them, then they won't be able to rape me anymore. I think that's just the easiest way to do it. Uh, I mean, would Loren ally them? No, <laughs> probably not. But we are because that is simply what we're going to do. Yep, and they're instantly going to uh, engage here. Now, they feel very confident in this engagement, and I guess I can see why. Uh, yeah, we got rolled because I didn't bring out my heavies. I brought out my trade ships. Cool. Great move by me. What a great way. <laughs> Great way to start off the episode here. Wow. Definitely meant to pull out the heavies, but I did not do so. Uh, let's send a stack up here to deal with these rebels. I think they're barbarian. Yeah, barbarian rebels need to be taken care of. Uh, I guess for now we need to continue to hunt pirates here, so they stop doing that. Okay, who is being attacked here and why? Okay, it's between Necklif and Istralor. That's fine. Can I get these guys across? I can. Good. Uh, Booslar, unfortunately, is not doing what we need him to. Uh, he's just getting sieged down. So he may get separate pieced out. We'll see. I guess I have 8,000 troops over here. Let's bring them home. Uh, as for tech, let's go ahead and take military tech. Now, I'm not going to take this Diplo tech. Instead, we're going to focus on starting to develop up the wine area here. So everything in the blood wine... Uh, trade node. I guess it's just the blood wine region. It needs to have 11 production development, which is a lot, to say the least. So everything with wine. So let's go ahead and encourage development. Uh, how are our merchants feeling? They're very loyal. So they will give us a little bit more reduction in developing. Uh, so let's go here. Get you up to 11. Exactly. Then you are already at 11. That's that's perfect. You also need to go up to 11. Minar. Okay, different place. Already developed. Good. You. Wow. Okay, this is going to be a lot, of, uh, a lot of dev. Okay. This is also wine. There is so much wine here. It's kind of nuts. And then we'll have to wait for all of these. Okay, well, at least we have uh, started off the process. At least we've started off the process. And have less autonomy, which we should in all of these. That shouldn't be a problem. Now, why is it highlighting things that have it? Does that have autonomy? No. I think I think it's just... I don't know what it's doing, but it works. Okay, we won the Siege of the Pearls. That's very nice. Let's go ahead and upgrade our cab as well. Get those Outriders in. Uh, can I cross? I can now. Okay, now we should be able to move our entire army across the Straits. So let's do so. Uh, nice, we got Radical Reforms. I wasn't even going for that, but I sure am glad we got it. Uh, let's go it. Well, that was definitely not what I meant to do. Definitely did not mean to upgrade him. Oh, well, too late now. Uh, get out of here, both of you. And, well, if I'm going to have a level 3 guy, then I might as well gain uh, production efficiency, right? Yeah, give me some more money, please. And I'll go back for that trade efficiency guy. I think that is good for me. Uh, adventurers slay satyrs well at least they are dealt with that is true now up in the north here we need to work on our fort line because it sucks <laughs> to be honest with you our fort line in the north sucks and what i want to do is i want to build a fort here this is better this is better because it should block people walking through here i hope i don't know uh we're gonna build one on many burrows though it's gonna be level 
do we need a level two fort here a level four you know what we will and then we'll get another one here and then probably one on old course as well uh, we're kind of at the point now where we don't need a whole bunch more land we're more just trying to clean up borders uh, we need to take this little peninsula here we also need to take this island and then that will be uh, that'll be it for everything required in this part of the world so we want to make sure that it at least looks nice because if you're not going to get it for a mission then you might as well just make it look good that's what i think all right we just continue speed five here colonies are being completed we'll just continue to do them there's no reason not to right might as well just make our colonies as beefy as possible since they are overpowered and give you very very good bonuses uh, Rail Skulker is equal amongst men. I suppose that's good for them. We instantly siege that fort down. Wow. Why was the defensiveness here so bad? Well, whatever the reason, uh, go ahead and give me money and war reps and transfer your trade power. Uh, you can stay allied. I don't really care. Okay. Who else do I have? I have you, who is occupied. I have Conwell, who is also occupied so let's peace out conwell sure why am i building a spy network on riot crab hmm i'm trying to steal maps over there i think okay give me max money uh give me war ups transfer your trade power thank you uh well, that means we're going to need one single unit over here one little guy let's build one up okay perfect you still need to uh come home be preferable can I get out to the Damish Temple? Uh, no, because I don't have access to the Magisterium. Uh, they will give me the access I desire, though, so that's something. Let's bring these two together here. Let's piece out uh, Sister Ronde. Very small Sister Ronde, might I add. Looks like they're an OPM. Money, war apps, that's fine. Uh, we've lost some ships. Okay. Why do we have such little war score at this point? I guess because of all their colonies and such. Now, can I full annex Pearl's Edge in this war? No, not, not even close. Not even a single bit close. Uh, so we will have a couple wars against these guys, it seems. Yeah, we'll just do something like this. It'll be a lot of AE, but at this point, if the coalition fires, it fires. Like, what am I going to do? Not take the land? Like, we have to at this point. We have to. Okay, we got a stack wipe there. You give me the access I need. We go siege down Damage Temple. If we can wipe their army, that would also help the old war score out. Now, agenda of the diet. I mean, I don't really care if Irlium likes me or not. Eh, maybe I do. I mean, that would be a. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Uh, interesting. So we do have an Elven Great Conqueror down here. We'll see how that develops. I don't know if that was there the last time. I don't think it was. Well, th this is terrifying. Okay. They have made it over, though they're not as strong as I thought they'd be. I mean, since they're this size, they must not own a lot down here. Because uh, they only have, I mean... Okay, they only have 300,000 troops. But for the command that looks that big, that is pretty small army. Uh, we'll see how that goes, though. There, we go. there goes the Damage Temple army. Now, all we need to do is find the Pearl's Edge army. Yeah, I see you running away. I see you running away. You can't run forever. Eventually, I'll catch up to you. I think. I hope. Uh, if we put everybody together here, maybe that'll that'll help. Okay, we've won the Siege of Moon Mount. Uh, do we keep them in the war? Probably. Gives us war score. Uh, okay, this is not great. Why are you not in this war? Why is Busalar not in this war? Did they get pieced out and I just didn't see it? They must have. Powerful mage. What happens if they die? My dynasty gets on their throat. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, next time we fight Pearl's Edge, we're going to have to have an army down here in the South Pearls area ready to go to war, I think. Uh, how much more can we get from ticking? 6.6. .6. Yeah. And there's the Kalasani Trade Company here. Uh, I think what we need is a New World Navy. I think that's something that I'm going to invest in right now. 
Because we have 15,000 troops, and that should be more than enough. Uh, we just need the ability to actually move them around. So let's get a bunch of heavies. And then also grab... I mean, we need 15 light ships, right? So something like that. Just get a couple extra. Sure. That'll be good. That should cover everything we need. Uh, 64, 67, 64, 67. I can't quite decide on the old uh, war score here. Now, if we can wipe their armies, that would be massive. Oh, okay. Are you sure you want to do that? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. You go back to hunting pirates there. Hold on. They're going to get... Uh, there's a fort here anyways, and Viacock would be bad and do bad things to our navy if they weren't here. Okay, now you come over... And that's a stack wipe of their army. That gives us 69. Nice. Percent war scare. Wow. War scare? What is... Whatever. <laughs> war score? Yes. That is how you English good. Uh, and now I guess we're just waiting. Yes, we're just waiting. We're going to bring our army back. And everything like that. Now, does the... How does any trade company want out? They do not. That's not surprising. I haven't been able to touch them at all, so... They're not going to be interested in such a thing. If we can get this on Siege, it might be worth a little bit of war score. All in all, I don't know if it's going to do much. Can you stop hitting my colonies? It's honestly just annoying at this point for you to do so. Uh, we do have a call for peace. Let's go ahead and get this next idea in quality ideas. Good. Um, 71%. How much can we get through ticking? We can get another 1.8. Uh, there's 4,000 troops here. If we can snipe those, maybe that'll do good. Goed insults us. I don't think that's a good idea, Goed. I really don't recommend you insulting me. I think you may come to regret that. Minus four. Man, we are so close to being able to peace out. So close. Uh, maybe some of this gets on siege and then it it's counts and we're good. Okay, there we go. That is unfortunately as close as we're going to get it. So we have to take one less province. Uh, we won't take Triton. That's fine. Wow, and then they have 43 reasons. I guess it does take away like 20 some odd war score. Uh, or we just don't take that. Can I maneuver this around to get a little bit more land? Yes, I can. Perfect. I can't take a single jacket, but that's A-OK. -okay. Boom. Lock it in. Beautiful, beautiful. We are making our way forward in the world. For all. This isn't going up, right? Okay, just wanna <laughs> just wanna keep a double double, triple, quadruple check on that one. Because I don't want to deal with that. Okay, so that is that war done. Again, Necklift we can go to war with in just a few short years here. Actually, year uh, we can go to war with them. Uh, as for our governing capacity, we are over it by a little bit. Let's go to Merchant Guilds and we'll give... Ooh, uh, yeah, we'll give them that. Then we will revoke some land that we're back up to 25. Okay. Uh, what to do now? Well, first of all, you. I want to ally you. So let's go ahead and improve relations. We got Crab. Pull our, uh, our dude back. Sure, you can have that. And Cabinet of Curiosities. Yes, please. Let's go to Covert Actions and let's steal a map of... Oh boy, what is this called? I don't know if it's going to show me because I can't see it. It's the Yen subcontinent, yeah, but then it's Rosenta, and I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to guess. I guess I will be able to tell by uh, if I can do it or not, because, like, see, I have no troops next to that one, that one. I do next to the Empendin Expanse, and I don't see the, that name anywhere. And it uncovers, well, it uncovers three provinces. Uh, let's just go for this one. Oh, yeah, and then what was this region? It, it was the uh, Impendent Expanse. Yep. That's right, the Dragon Dominion. Okay. I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, you have a lot of troops, though. 
65,000 of them to be precise. So we're actually going to need an army over here. Uh, that is less exciting, <laughs> to say the least. Less exciting. Okay, let's continue our fort line. Get one there. And then we're going to have to get one in two fork. Uh, it is a little close to... Well, I'm not getting rid of any of those buildings. I guess we're putting one in old course, like I was planning. Yeah, because then it covers all of that. And then eventually we'll be able to delete that and we'll move... We'll have a fort in the approach and in, like, uh, Lonely Valley or something. That should work. But for now, we'll just go ahead and throw this down here. Because I do want to go to war with Goed. Not because we have to for the mission tree, but because I want to. Because why would I not want to beat up Goed? Uh, I can't think of any good reason. Now, we're getting closer to being able to get universities, which would be pretty nice. Uh, I suppose we can do a little bit more wine development down here. You need to go up to 11, and you are not wine, so I don't care. You guys, oh, okay. All of this is wine in forest, which is uh, unfortunate for the old coffers here. Well, not coffers, but the old uh, mana bank. Okay, you need one. You need more than one. Should have put the edict on anyways. Oh, we're out of diplo points. We still have a lot to do, but that's okay. We'll get there. We shall get there. Blue scale, equal amongst men. Interesting. Uh, forts, 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 forts. So, capital fort. Go ahead and get that upgraded. Command is no longer monstrous. Okay. Truce with Reveria is up. I'm not sure where Reveria is. They must be in the New World somewhere. Yeah, because I don't know. Moonhaven is preparing to attack Reveria, so yeah, they're most likely there. Uh, who is Necklyph allied to? Gamber and Themeria. Not an issue for us. Let's go make sure this uh, Great Conqueror, War Wizard, Bold Fighter doesn't actually uh, have a chance to do the bad things to anyone else. Now your cores... Hmm, we wouldn't be able to core this, but that's not the end of the world. Let's go and do this. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be, man. Just let it go. Uh, okay. I got so many pop-ups, I thought for a second that we got a personal union over Westmores, but no. They just simply died. I would love a personal union over Westmores. They're 20. Honestly, I think they're better off. With a 301, like, you should definitely want to uh, fall under one. Usalar, hello. I would love for you to just become a personal union. I would appreciate it. Make my life way easier. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, our heavy ships in the New World are now complete. Wow, look at that timing. That was actually fantastic on my part. Uh, not to toot my own horn or anything. Let's go ahead and bring all of our heavy ships together. Okay, that should be good to deal with anything in the New World. Now we can do this. Let's go ahead and lock in uh, Religion and Force Edict. I can't remember who said this in the comment, but it was a fantastic idea. This will allow us to prevent anything being converted over into... Uh, the Regent Court, or into a Coronite up here in the small country. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on this. I wish it was like a pop-up that when it started to convert something, I got it, but we'll uh, we'll see, we'll see. All right, let's get my troops on over to Sagamber. The Marriott's over here, right? Yeah, they're over here. Well, that's gonna cause some issues. Let's, uh, let's build up a small fighting force over here. Take a while to build, but it's not that big of a deal. We have won the siege of their capital. Uh, improve relations? No, I'd rather just fire to get a uh, really good one. Perfect stand. Okay. Interesting. Look at that. Westham doing Westham things, being fantastic. Everybody looking loyal. Ugh. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Please let my troops cross. Uh, Elven migrants, yes. Absolutely, come on in. We love the elves. There's never been one time when I've ever hated elves. That'd be crazy. Uh, Vicoc, you are friendly, and I will ally you momentarily, okay? You just hold your horses. Uh, no, I said I wanted a trade guy. Please, I beg of you. I want the monies. Wow. Any, any chance I can get one this time? Hey, we can't upgrade him. It's a gnome. Fine. Fine, I'll take the improved relations guy. Well, you win, game. You win. Uh, you just want me to 
keep redoing, just firing advisors, wasting all my money. Whatever. Oh, wait, we have 20,000 troops here. Uh, no, let's not put our leader on the thing. We do have our cannons getting added up onto this, so we'll hold off for a moment. Though it doesn't look like we actually need them, as Thamaria is getting rolled. Now, if I went to you and I said, I can see the broken sea, I could do that in the future, which is good to know. Very good to know. Uh, let me know what the Dragon Dominion is up to, by the way. That is important for me. I want to know if they go to war with somebody. That way I can take advantage of the moment. Colonial disaster. I'll just pay the Diplo power, whatever. Uh, Alright, Nicholas, I need both of these provinces. I also want all of this. I need a full annexation on you, man. Is Thamaria their uh, colonial nation? No, I didn't think so. I thought it was their... Uh, or they were an uh, adventure company. Or adventure nation. So what do you have that I'm not taking that would cause me to not full annex you? That is my question. If I click here, everything in the light green is theirs. Ah, this right here is a colony of Necliffe. That's a full annexation. Okay. The Maria... Uh, can I separate piece you out, actually? I would like a connection over to my colony. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Uh, full annexation, sure. That's that's fine. Give me max money. Uh, revoke your cores on Moonhaven, I guess. And we will go ahead and piece you out and start to core it. We are overextended. I don't really care, though. We'll be all right. Now, Viacock, stop raiding me, man. Thank you. That is one way to deal with it. Uh, so now let's bring all of our ships together because no one's going to be raiding us anymore. I really wish that we got uh, claims through our missions on these guys or a way to go to war with them other than just no CB in them. Like, I feel like there should be a way because they're so annoying. They're so annoying. Okay, all of our ships over here are together. So what I want to do, I want to delete these galleys. They're not worth it to me anymore. You... Probably need to have some upgrades. No, no upgrades. Okay, you go home. You guys also go home. No reason for you to be out and about. You protect trade. Unless I need to upgrade some of you. No. Uh, go ahead and protect trade where it's going to be most valuable. Westport will give us 12. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to get anything better than 12. That's really good. Uh, so let's send you out into Westport. I'm not sure how because... No one else really has any trade power there, and Red Glades... Well, I guess we're just taking more off of Red Glades. Hm, whatever. Oh, we have Pearl's Edge Separatists. We have guys here to deal with that. It's not a problem. Ooh, these troops are actually stuck here. Uh, that is fine. We can easily bring them back. Go ahead and pop out and grab them. Uh, no, no. No, no, no. Don't. Don't do the thing. I knew you were going to do the thing. Do not do that thing. Where you send every freaking transport ship in the known world over to the other side of the planet. That's not what I wanted. Alright? That's not what anybody ever wants from that command. Now, they're tech 12. And we are tech 14. So, we're not actually that far ahead of them. Uh, which means we do have to be a little cautious about uh, going to war with them. We need to embrace the printing press pretty much immediately. Uh, okay, well, that's uh, that's good to know. We are going to start falling behind on tech if we do not. <sighs> okay, that's another colony completed. Desires of the Flesh, I just lose prestige. I don't care. That event just feels so bland to me at this point. Like, I get it so much. It's just like, eh, whatever. Yeah, the advisor is sleeping with the Empress. Cool. Just leave me alone about it. I've got more important things to worry about, okay? I'm out here trying to run an intercontinental empire. They can do whatever they want. No big deal. All right, we do have 246 Diplo, though, which means it's time for more wine development. That's right, everybody's favorite part of the day. Let's go ahead and make sure yep, you are on Encourage Development. You get up to that sweet, sweet 11. <laughs> wow. There's a... <laughs> There's quite a bit of wine in the uh, Bay of Wines, believe it or not. Uh, now, there's a lot of things I want to do with my money. I want to upgrade all these centers of trade, which I think is probably worth more right now. To when can I revoke some land? 
Actually, I don't have to. And I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to embrace the institution. Okay. Then to get back up above 20, I'm going to do a couple of development clicks here. Should get me there. Beautiful. Okay, now I don't have super bad debuffs. The power of developing. All right, move you guys on over to here. Get ready for the necklift rebels that will inevitably uh, be rising up. Gnomish hierarchy starts to colonize. Okay. I don't think that's a good idea for your future health, gnomes, but if that's the path you want to walk, then you shall walk it. But it will not be a good one. Huh, okay, I uh, can't take that because we have tech coming up. We can start to core that. Again, we are right back up to a uh, high level of governing capacity. It's just the way of the world. More variant separatists, but we have guys there. We have a good northern fort line. Uh, Westham? Let's go ahead and upgrade them. And let's say, uh, ooh, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's say, yeah, all of this I actually do want. This is all something that I want. Because if we check our mission tree here, Invasion of Dames here. Uh, oh, we actually need this little island off of Moonhaven as well. And Moonhaven is also allied with Busalar. Okay, well, we can uh, distract Busalar then and end up taking care of that. It's not that big of a deal for us. Worst comes to worst. We just kill Busalar. <laughs> what, what are they going to do? What's Busalar going to do? Not much. We are a little bit too strong for everyone in this region of the world. And that's everybody who's really mad. The Core Knights aren't too thrilled, but also eh, they have their own things that they're dealing with. Uh, I think next time we'll be going at Gawed. I want to take this strip of land at least off of them just for good border's sake. Uh... We may jump into this area early. I'm not sure. There's a lot of dev here, so waiting for the claims may be the best play. But our truth with Pearl's Edge isn't up until, uh, when is it? All the way down in 1592? Is that when it is? Uh, yeah, 1592. So that's a, oh my god, that's 11 years. So I definitely want to be doing stuff before then. Uh, there is always going at, uh, Moonhaven and possibly, you know, Wex, who we're still allied with. I'm gonna be real with you. Didn't even realize that we were still allied with them. Uh, let's go ahead and dissolve that. I I don't think the 8,000 troops they're bringing to the table is going to be worth it. Yeah, I really I really don't. Even Viacock down here is 25,000. Uh, they may be a couple techs behind, but never mind. Wex is tech 11. Yeah, because they went bankrupt. Yeah. That was definitely a waste of a, an alliance slump. Before we end off here, is there anyone else that would be interested in such an alliance? Uh, I would like you as an ally. You're pretty good. Our brand would be willing to ally me. 44,000. I mean, that's not bad. Who are you rivaled to? Pearl's Edge, Gawed. Yeah, sure. You know what? We'll ally our brand. Maybe we'll call them into Gawed, see what we can do there. But I think this is we're going to wrap it up here for today. I think it's a good place to stop before we jump into another war. Uh, I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.